Well, there's a class of high school students in the Toledo area that's been working for years to chart a future for an endangered species of animals here in Ohio. As Lou Abier explains tonight that in doing so, some students are charting a future for themselves. Use sheets and then I'm going to leave the uh, disc Cat 101 for the juniors. Nicole Costello is a teacher, but her classroom is not typical. Oh, it's filled with students, but also snakes and birds and dogs and even a ferret or two. It's the small animal care class at Penna Career Center where students learn about and care for animals of all types, some you've heard of and some you haven't, like a hellbender. There they are. I've never even heard of them before I came here, but they're one of the cutest animals I've seen. But Casey Benfelt, like these other students here, would not only get to know these endangered Ohio native salamanders, but would help raise them. It's all part of a conservation project for these Penta students who are working with the Division of Wildlife and the Toledo Zoo to help give this strange prehistoric species of amphibian a future in the state of Ohio. They are very fragile, they're state endangered, um, so we do the best that we can to keep the biosecure. And biosecurity is critical for these salamanders. Protective clothing and gowns are mandatory as students work with them in a secure lab as these creatures are vulnerable to pathogens and predators. One of their defenses, interestingly, is they are very slippery. They are kind of slimy. They're very they? slimy. Their nickname is the snot otters. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of how slimy they are. They're really hard to pick up. On this day, students were picking them up in nets as more than 30 of these three-year-old hellbenders were being readied for release into streams in southern Ohio, their native habitat. Some of the students get to be a part of that, like Casey Benfelt recently. We had to get the cooler out to the spot where we could actually release them because they're we were releasing the Benza rivers, that's where they live under like rocks and small holes. and So you're kind of diving down looking for the right holes to put the hellbenders into and then checking to make sure that they're like staying there is really difficult because you have this current that's pushing you along. Difficult but also really, really fun. Megan's been so inspired by it she now works for the zoo in conservation and Cassidy is pursuing a career in wildlife education. I would have never known if I didn't come here and a lot of people don't know and the world needs to know about animals like these that need our help. Hearing that makes a teacher proud. Um, inspiring and getting them in the correct direction of their dreams, that's, that's, that's pretty inspiring for me. So as these students here at Penna work to give these endangered creatures a future, the lesson learned in this classroom is, well, giving some of these students a future. Lou Bear, WTOL 11. How cool is that, Lou? Thank you. A busy weekend.